ti jumma kani na ligu selung ada kucau galo ma Kangi na ma ino zirmi adu ma ya ani adu du ina ni ama Ni ani tu nga ani ti ringi na ama nukha galla du na langi na ma when my mother was diagnosed with cancer, um, we understood it. It was a little bit more difficult for us to explain it to her. Um, but she understood that um, it was a bad illness, a bad infection, and that uh, it would have to be cut out because she couldn't be treated with radiation or chemotherapy. When the doctor told us, there was no interpreter, so we had to explain everything to her. And then uh, I actually had to find out from my cousin, who was a nurse, that there was options of how her colon cancer could be treated. Uh, one was to open her right up, and the other was to put little holes in her, to, with two little incisions to take it out. And we, and like they didn't give us that option. The doctors in Winnipeg didn't give us that option. We learned from my cousin. And then they didn't give us any options as to aftercare or any care at all uh, for when she went back home to Nunavut. I know mom knew that cancer wasn't good, that she is eventually gonna die. But she says, we're all gonna die. When we all found out about mom's cancer and there was not much else that could be done, she was too ill for any proper treatment. So we had to just relieve her, take care of her pain, pain management and her health and ha like her happiness. And for us and for her, it was great that we could all get together, uh, my, her, all her children together at once the same place with her and she loved that. Our life was, the last few months was to make her happy. Our mother was lucky because uh, she had my sister and or my brother here before I came to go to the doctor's office to go for her tests. Otherwise I don't know what she would have done without my sister and brother here with her because they understand both English and Inuktitut and it can explain it to her. But what about the rest of the Inuit that come down here for treatment or tests? Like how to properly explain it to them if you don't speak the language. My mother was just one lucky lady to have my sister and brother. You get very tired when you are looking after somebody that's very ill. Um, it's exhausting. It's not just physically exhausting, it's mentally, emotionally exhausting. Pretty much your whole life stops for this person. And it would be great if Inuit had more support system even for a night or two or even during the day so they could go shopping, go see a movie, uh, go bowling or just or just to nap, just to take a two hour bath, you know, it, just to get some relief from that draining care. Like it's not, it, I, it was a privilege to look after her, but it's also very exhausting. So just to get a little bit more support, uh, I think is needed for everyone. Yeah. To me, wellness means getting outside, out into nature, um, breathing fresh air, go back into traditional foods as such as caribou or fish and the Arctic berries or berries are just, you know, other than just eating processed foods. Go visit, uh, go for tea, go visit your elders, make them laugh, remind them of their childhood. Um, I always see things on the brighter side. So be